Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example is a quite interesting one and somewhat challenging as well. Here we have a block of a particular density that's floating in a liquid that has a greater density. Notice the density of the liquid is greater than the density of the block, so that portion of the block is above the liquid. The block is in the shape of a cube and has dimensions L by L by L. So for part A, we're supposed to find the fraction of the block that's above the surface of the liquid. So it's basically the ratio of this H divided by the height of the block, which is L. Then for part B, we're going to add water in such a way that the water level at the top will be equal with the block. And then the question is, what will be the height of that water level from the top of the liquid to the top of the block? So those are the two questions we're trying to answer. So that's part A and part B. So for the first part, part A, we're going to use the concept of the buoyancy force. We know that the buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid, which is equal to the mass of the liquid times G. And since we know that density equals mass over volume, or mass equals density times volume, we can replace the mass of the liquid by the density of the liquid times the volume of the liquid that was displaced, which is the volume right here, not the total volume of the block, but the volume right here, times G. And then, of course, that the weight of the displaced liquid will be equal to the weight of the block that's floating. So we can say that this is equal to the M times G of the block. If we now take this portion of the equation, we can then write that the density of the liquid times the volume of the displaced liquid times G equals the mass of the block, which can also be expressed as the density of the block times the volume of the block times G. Now notice, G's cancel out on both sides of the equation, and we're trying to find the ratio of H over L. But to do that, we're going to start with Y, because we want to go ahead and express the, the term in the volume of the liquid in terms, of course, this variable right here, Y. So we have the density of the liquid times the volume, which is length, times length, times Y. So that would be the volume of the displaced liquid equals the density of the block times, and that would be L times L times L, like that. Let's put multiplication marks in there. Then notice that two of the L's cancel on both sides of the equation. And then we can say that Y over L is equal to the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. Of course, that's not H over L. So how do we relate H over L to Y over L? Well, we can say that Y, or another way of looking at it, so this would be equal to the fraction below the surface. So then if we want the fraction above the surface, it would be 1 minus that. So we can write that the fraction above the surface, which is equal to H over L, that would be equal to 1 minus Y over L, which means it's equal to 1 minus the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. And that is how you find the equation for the fraction of the block above the surface. So this is, okay, at least now we've answered part A, but how do we do part B? So now we look at this picture right here, and now we realize that the block is buoyed up both by the water and by the liquid with density sub L. All right, so again, let's start with the buoyancy force. We know that the buoyancy force is equal to the buoyancy force caused by the liquid plus the buoyancy force caused by the water, and that must equal the weight of the block, the mg of the block. All right, again, we'll start with this part of the equation, just like we did over there, and we're going to equate that. So the buoyancy force of the liquid, well, that will be, as we saw before, the buoyancy force will be the density times the volume of the displaced liquid times g. That would be the density of the liquid times the volume of the displaced liquid times g plus the density of the water times the volume of the displaced water times g, and that will equal the density of the block times the volume of the block times g. All right, now we can see that we can cancel g's everywhere, 
And now let's plug into place what these different volumes are. Now we come over here and notice that if this is H, then this portion right here, that would be L minus H. Because we know that the total height of the block L, uh, the total height of the block equals L. Okay, so that means that the volume of the displaced liquid, we have the density of the liquid times the volume, that would be L times L times L minus H. Like this. Plus the density of the water times, in this case, that would be L times L times H. That would be the volume of the displaced water. And then here we get this equal to the density of the block times L times L times L, which is the volume of the block. Again, you can see that on both sides of the equation, we can cancel out two DLs. So then we're left with the density of the liquid times L minus H plus the density of the water times H equals the density of the block times L. And finally, we're trying to solve for H, which means we need to, we need to isolate H. So we end up with the density of the liquid times L minus the density of the liquid times H plus the density of the water times H equals the density of the block times L. So we're going to take this term and move it to the right side and then take these two terms and, and factor out an H. So we end up with H times the density of the water minus the density of the liquid is equal to the density of the block times L. And then here we have minus the density of the liquid times L. Now notice that the density of the liquid is greater than the density of the block, and the density of the liquid here is greater than the density of the water, so these are two negative quantities. So I probably want to turn those around to turn those into positive quantities. And then if I want to solve for H, I simply divide both sides by that. So I end up with H is equal to a factor out an L, L times the density of the liquid minus the density of the block. So now I've reversed these two, but then I have to do the same over here. That would be the density of the liquid minus the density of the water. And this here is the expression for the height of the water in terms of the size of the block, the density of the liquid, the density of the block, and the density of the water. And that is how it's done.